Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As it's the middle of the fall, I'd like to kick off the best skincare routine of the season. And I'd like to focus my review on this Dior Prestige Perfecting and Regenerating Skincare Ritual Set. As you know, Dior is a luxury designer brand known for its bags and clothes. In the recent years, they also started to invest in the different skincare product lines. So this Micro La Rose series sits on the higher end of their skincare product lines. But really, the million dollar question is whether the price matches the effect and the expectations. So in my video today, I'm going to review the ingredients and decipher the usage for different skincare type and my view and advice on the cost effectiveness of this series. So let's jump right in. This Dior Prestige Regenerating and Perfecting Discovery Ritual Sets got a retail price of 300 US dollars. So the ritual set comes in with five pieces of products. Firstly is this golden case. And inside the case, there are four skincare products. The left one is a 30 ml of Dior Prestige Le Micro Lotion De Rose. And uh, here is a 10 ml of this Dior Prestige La Micro Villa De Rose Advanced Serum. Here's a little scoop for this facial cream. So this is a Dior Prestige La Cream, coming with 15 ml of the content. Last but not least is this uh, Dior Prestige La Micro uh, serum de rose use advanced eye serum just so you guys know that i usually spend very wisely on those expensive skincare products so earlier this year before i even jump into this ritual set i initially purchased this full size of this dior prestige advanced serum so it comes in with one ounce of the net content and i believe the retail price is at 325 us dollars so it's definitely um expensive serum for sure so i first try out this single product before i jump into this full product line and uh, because i had such a good experience with this serum so i decided to try out this whole um, la rose product line so here it is we are reviewing the full product line and the ingredients and the effectiveness and the usage for different skin types okay this rose micro lotion is the first step of your skincare routine. It comes with one ounce of the net weight, and uh, usually the full size at 3.4 ounce of the weight comes with a retail price of 135 US dollars. And this lotion, the unique part is that it's actually the first time for the Dior product line to infuse the microlysed oil containing the rose extracts. So the difference between this lotion with other lotion is that it's less watery but more condensed with that the oil and the rose extracts. So the purpose of this one is to balance and refresh your skin. Another thing to notice is that uh, because it infused with these micro particles, so the whole bottle looks a little bit cloudy and non-transparent at all. But it's not because of any degeneration of the ingredient. It's only because of that the micro particles or it's caviar kind of alike uh, of the content in the bottle, which causes the cloudiness. All right. So the next step is for me to try this out on my arm together with two other treatment lotions so you can visualize the difference. So um, I'm gonna try out the three products uh, on my arm now. So uh, the Dior um, Rose Lotion, uh, the Lamer Treatment Lotion, and this uh, Suku uh, Treatment Essence, okay? So, this one. So first is this um, Dior lotion. You can see it's actually very viscous and hard to get it out. 
so it's uh, more like semi-liquid in the texture and the treatment lotion from La Mer and lastly is a watery based of this uh, suku oops you can see that both the treatment lotion from La Mer and suku immediately started to drip off versus the for the Dior lotion it's very viscous and the hardest to move around so you can see that when I put the arm upright then it started to drip off but I would say it's probably the most viscous lotion that I've ever tried out so far and then you know in terms of the texture and the skin sensation you can see compared to La Mer, which is a good uh, treatment lotion already this one has more oil based or the lipid layers and this one definitely helps the skin of the, the dry skin type especially to be better balanced and prepared you can see that right so with this uh, Dior Rose lotion it can be easily spread out and keep the skin refreshed and nourished so you can see the difference right for the water-based lotion from suku it's actually dry out fast versus with this micro microlized oil it seems to keep the moisture layer a little bit sustained and longer all right So I like this rose lotion a lot. I like the formula and the experience, skin sensation, etc. And I think it's very friendly for the dry skin type and the combination skin type all year round. Even for the oily skin type, you can simply down your skincare ritual with this one single product. Next is my favorite serum out of this Dior brand. So you can see that uh, my right hand side holds the full size of the advanced serum and it's almost gone. That is uh, telling you how much I like it. And with this uh, um, skincare sets, it comes with a travel size of 10 ml of the net weight and i like this uh, serum a lot so here compares to the lotion you can see from the color gradient wise and also the density of the caviar particles uh, this serum definitely has uh, more concentrated uh, rose ingredients and other antioxidant ingredients so here uh, let me show you after one pump on my uh, hand you can see it's very viscous and again it's um, hard to you know move around because of that uh, density and the viscosity of the particles and here you can see compared to the colors and the appearance of the lotion this one definitely shows more cloudiness due to that enriched uh, ingredients and the microlized particles so let me spread it to form a single layer on my hand and I tried this out in one of my other short videos uh, earlier this year and this is actually showing you that uh, with this uh, oil based serum it can keep your skin illuminating and supple so you see that it's actually very sil silky smooth in the application and after you put a, a thin layer on your skin it actually form a illuminating layer all right I like this serum and I personally rate it 4.5 out of 5. Basically the effect is to keep my face illuminating and soft. Next is this Dior Prestige La Cream. This one is actually very expensive. This 15 ml of the net weight could cost you 145 US dollars. And the claiming effect of this cream is antioxidant, regenerating, and repairing. So let's crack into the ingredient to see if it's worth it. 
So let's decipher the ingredient list here. So the top list is showing you those uh, uh, most uh, concentrated ingredients that's larger than 1.5% of the net weight. So we see here is uh, water, glycerin, the synthetic ethers, squalene oil, alcohol, etc. So basically the synthetic ethers uh, is oil-based. Also the squalene oil by nature, it's, uh, uh, it's a very good um, uh, oil. Um, and uh, those type of ingredients all contribute to the repairing effect that's claimed by this uh, cream. So this is good ingredients. And there are um, very low percentage of the rose extract here, you know, kind of in the middle of the ingredient list. This is showing you that the major skin care effect from this screen is not uh, coming from this uh, tiny bit of the rose extract. But don't get me wrong, the rose extract could have the astringent effect for your skin. So this may lead to the, um, the line finding or the anti-wrinkle effect. Um, and also the rose have the strong smell or the fragrance. So it also contributes to the fragrance perspective of this cream. Based on my homework that I did on the costdna.com, I know this cream should usually include the um, a larger percentage of the vitamin E, but somehow I didn't see that listed uh, throughout the entire ingredient section. So this is, uh, I guess, maybe maybe some kind of disconnection or maybe they upgraded their uh, formula somehow. Um, but typically for this cream, they usually include that the uh, vitamin E to be antioxidant. So let's see the texture and the effect of this expensive cream on my hand. By the way, I like this packaging. So when I first open it, there is this um, um, foil that's sealing this opening. So that's actually further to secure and uh, for the hygiene considerations. And let's open it. And the color wise, it's a little bit pinkish or off-white and it has that strong smell of the rose so let's use this pearl size on my hand again so maybe let's try out um, in between my finger so there's more fine lines and wrinkles here and do you see that this cream becomes transparent after you spread out the thin layer on your skin and it's viscous and more like ice cream in the texture. So you need a little bit of massage to make sure that it's fully absorbed by your skin. So I like this texture, especially towards the fall and the winter times when the skin tends to dry out. Um, this type of uh, oil based or has a lot of synthetic oil esters can really help moisturizing the skin. So you see that after application, those fine lines are lighter. It kind of feels like um, it filled by those um, like heavier oil based cream. So it will be especially helpful for those type of dry skin type and combination slash dry skin type, okay? So definitely after the application, the entire area feels more supple and softer. The last part is this Micro Rose Advanced Eye Serum. So it only has a seven mil of the net weight. So very tiny, tiny travel size. So a tricky part here is that uh, it has this rolling ball. So supposedly it uh, uh, you should roll around your eye area. Um, but the tricky thing is you need to squeeze this bottle a little bit. Otherwise it wouldn't, uh, the content wouldn't come out. So you have to Really try a couple of times to manage amount and the strength. So this eye serum is very lightweighted, and uh, I think 
In terms of the formula, I like the balance between the water base and the oil base ingredients. So it wouldn't feel heavy at all, even for the oily type of a skin. So I would say this one actually works probably better for the combination slash oily skin type because it's uh, lightweighted and it doesn't have much of the oil ingredients in it. So after application, you just uh, use your finger or use the rolling ball to massage a bit. And after five seconds or, or so, it uh, becomes uh, fully settled onto your skin. All right. So after testing out all four products, I really like this whole Micro LaRoe series a lot. Now I'm going to show you how to apply these products onto my skin to formulate my new fall skincare routine. So step number one is of course this uh, Micro LaRoe's lotion. So one thing maybe um, only one um, downside about this design is that you know because it's so viscous and so hard to um, drip out the product i really suggest the dior brand to reconsider the design of this uh, product bottle so step one is to balance and prepare the skin and i have the combination skin type and which tends to be more dry skin type during the winter time so i really need this oil based lotion so it's more concentrated and enriched with oil so this is number one and i can feel that my skin is softer and more illuminating now Step number two is my favorite serum and I like this design. It's much easier um, and user friendly to get the product. So usually two pumps and uh, to form that uh, pearl sized amount, I don't want to overdo it. Otherwise my skin is like the very oily face, which I don't like. Surprisingly, this serum supposedly has a lot more condensed oil or the herbal extract um, but it's not greasy at all this is something that i really like because if it's greasy sometimes it tend to get the, the breakouts or acne on my skin so my skin is a little bit sensitive so i really need the, a good formula to balance out the ingredient of the oil base versus the water based uh, content okay and now it's fully settled and it's non greasy at all it absorbed very fast down to my skin step number three is the the eye serum so i like this uh, rolling ball design it actually helps massage more efficiently so usually three circles on my eye area and a little bit the uh, fingertip massage that will be it especially since it's light weighted formula so now it's ready for the last step to apply this the oil cream so this cream is um, very rich so I would uh, strongly recommend this cream to those uh, uh, dry skin type so this much would be good for me and I usually use different fingertips to help apply that layer the circular and uplifting motion could really help the point is consistency you apply the same massage method or technique day and night a.m. and p.m. you will see the difference okay now my skin is in a better and younger looking status 
So I personally would rate this uh, Micro La Rose lotion 5 star out of 5 and the serum um, 4.5 out of 5 and this uh, eye serum 3 out of 5 so I don't like this product, it's too lightweight for me and finally this uh, Dior Pristy La Cream, I will rate it 4.5 out of 5 so here's my recommendations for different skin types so for dry skin type and the combination slash dry skin type i would uh, recommend you purchase um, all of these three products the lotion the advanced serum and this prestige La cream and for the oily skin type and also the combination skin type but more prone to the oil uh, end i would just recommend this uh, micro la rose uh, lotion and this uh, advanced serum so usually for this uh, 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 lotion since it's so condensed and oily based i would say the oily skin can just use this single product across this whole four seasons and for the combination but uh, uh, towards that oily uh, end type of skin you guys can just purchase these two products the lotion plus the advanced serum because these two has the most condensed ingredients and uh, you know the um, you can save money on that uh, facial cream part because that is uh, in my opinion it's super expensive and you can always find the cheaper alternatives so overall my own um, view about this uh, whole discovery ritual set is that it's still worth a buy for me if I simply add up the math coming out of uh, um, you know single piece and the retail price definitely four piece adding together it's outweighing the retail price of this $300 of this entire set but let's let's be real come on guys those uh, luxury brands they always overpricing their products so 300 us dollars to purchase four travel size skin products it's like ugh, unreasonable and not rational at all right so in that case i would say this if for those people looking for the higher end product they like the rosy scent and the price is not their concern definitely i would recommend this uh, retro set to them but then you know if like i mentioned if you have certain considerations to your skin type or out of the monetary part you can just uh, purchase uh, whatever fits your need hopefully my review is helpful for you to decide and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time